Hi there, in this video guide you will figure out how to install the Cisco terminal, connect it to the exchange, launch and use the main functions. We go to official Cisco website, the link you will find in the description under the video. On the website we fill in the form with our email address and click get for free. No spam you will receive just the launcher file and license. Then you will be redirected to the page with step-by-step -step instruction. We go to our mail if you don't have a message from syscap refresher page and check spam folder and promo. If still have no message, try another email or contact technical support. The message looks like this. Please pay your attention to the file attached. This is your license that will be required after installation to launch the terminal. Download it first, not to lose it. We download the syscalp. Then we open launcher and follow a very simple instruction. Accept the agreement. Finish. After installation, you will be redirected to Help Center. Do not ignore all this information, it will guide you and help to avoid losses. When we open the launcher, here we see the button to start syscalp, then the signals, free setups for your trading session. All about community, our YouTube channel, Telegram, Discord and Instagram. Here are the main resources you will find. We recommend to visit our Discord channel to stay tuned. Here we see absolutely free trading course, help center where you can communicate with technical support, community chat and ask your questions. You will be redirected to Help Center where we will find different categories. In Syscap version, you can choose and download the version of the Syscap that suits you best. In this tab, you can add your reserve account through connecting to different exchanges. Here we see the latest news related to the Syscap community. To start the Syscap, we click here. When we start a Syscap, here we browse the way to the license that we downloaded. The terminal has been launched. To start trading, we need to create a connection of the syscap to the exchange through using AP keys. To create AP keys, we go to exchange. In this video, we use the example of Binance Exchange. From the main menu, we select API management where we create AP keys. When creating AP keys, you need to turn on two-factor authentication in security section following simple instruction. Then you create API keys and name it. We select system generated, label AP key. Then we go through security verification requirements. Here we will need our IP address. You can get it just through Googling my IP address. We click Edit Restrictions. First, we select Restrict Access to Trusted IPs Only. Here we fill in our IP. Then we will be able to edit restrictions. We turn on Futures and Spot Trading. We can left this option or you can also turn on this option giving access to any IP addresses that is less secure. Be aware to copy both keys into the document and save it because secret key is shown only once. Now we save it and again go through security verification requirements. You can delete or create new IP keys. Now we switch to the terminal we open settings, connections, and here we create a new connection of the proper exchange. For example, Binance Spot and USDT futures. We go to settings, and here we fill in AP key and AP secret. We save password, choose base settlement currency USDT, and wallet type exchange. We close and click on this uh, icon to connect. We see the green light, it means that uh, the connection is stable. The same we do to connect futures. 
the same AP key and AP secret safe password. Spot on future is connected. Now your terminal is connected. Here we can add a tab, add workspace. It's relevant for using another monitor. Mini watch list, add chart and add order book. Let's add a tab, then two order books. We choose the connection. Then we choose another order book for, for futures. Now we see two order books of the spot instrument and its derivative, futures. We can add a chart here, whatever we like, through uh, the function of docking. It's quite simple and intuitive. I usually prefer this configuration. We can adjust the workspace as we wish through using this docking function and adding many tabs, switching between them. And each tab can include unique configuration. We can add mini watch list that we can set up. This linking function will allow to group and fix not only instruments, but the configuration itself pegged to a certain color. For example, let's add some instrument of certain connection. I have several connections. Let's use this connection and the instrument. For example, let it be BTC. We can do it like this. We choose the color. We choose uh, the way how uh, the graph will be placed. For example, like this. Here you should link BTC to the same color. And this configuration will be saved here. Now let's talk about the connections. You can add several connections from different accounts, for example, and add different colors to distinguish them. I have several connections uh, for Binance and for Bybit. I use different colors to distinguish these connections. The order book of one connection will correspond to this connection according to a certain color. The color of connection and the color of the order book should coincide when choosing. For example, I would like to choose uh, the order book with a connection to Bybit. I need to turn on Bybit USDT preferential futures. And here you see that the color of the order book has been changed to according to the color of connection to Bybit. Now let's switch to proxy server. You can check your connection. Here you see your pink value. If the number is higher than 300, it means that 300 milliseconds of your order proceeding, uh, you need to enhance it. When connection is green, there is a K. When it's yellow or red, it's an alert. We go to connections, and here we can choose the proxy. To optimize your route, you add connection that is close to your location. The connection will be better. Now let's see the hotkeys. The core hotkeys, uh, common hotkeys is here. Uh, I really recommend to leave them by default. Uh, fin financial result, trades, line notifications, and show the spread. Let's try F1 shows you your financial result. F2 all the trades. F fine line notification. And here let's try to dismantle the sound notification. Here you can add your own uh, files, but I really recommend to left only uh, the sound notification on trade and signal price level. Now let's watch how to make your orders. The orders are divided to two types. Market order, when we open trade right here and right now, and limit order. Here we can choose the trading volume. We click here and for example, we would like to make a trade for $20. We turn here input in dollars and it's automatically calculated in dollars, traded amount. We choose this trading amount 
and to open long position we click left mouse button on red side on the side of sellers the position is open to close it we click uh, right mouse button on the green side selecting the same volume we closed the position by the market now let's try to place the limit orders. To place the buy limit order, we click left mouse button on the green zone. And you see your limit orders. To place the limit order for sale, we do absolutely the same, but clicking right mouse button on the red side, on the side of the sellers. Your position will be opened when the price reaches these levels. By clicking D, we cancel all the orders. Now opening uh, a market order, let's see how to place the stop loss and take profit. To place the stop loss, we click C plus left mouse button here under the price in the case of long position and absolutely the same but in red zone. C plus left mouse button. Here we can trail our stop loss into the green zone, into our profit. And absolutely the same we do when we open short position. We place stop loss by clicking left mouse button in the red side, vice versa, and left mouse button plus C on the green side, because now the position is short. I think it's quite simple. Here in analytics, you can switch to signals, signals for crypto traders. Here in settings in the section other, you can put your pin code to enter the application. In the display, you can choose the style of your interface. That's all. Thank you for your attention.